Hello farmers and welcome back to Farming Simulator 2013 Let's Play And as you folks can see The harvest has started But I tried to record it but Every single time I was supposed to save the video The video was just corrupted or something After I saved it from Windows Live Movie Maker So In 1080p and yeah, but I have kind of figured out what in the world so is the problem. So I think we are back, but I have decided I want a new combine. It's, it takes forever to harvest this field with this for harvester. And for you folks to watch is maybe more fun if I use a mod harvester instead of instead of a, just a stock combine so just can empty him I have to figure out where the hell the trailer is ok it's so only good I do think we have to take a little bank loan today though Because the harvesters are a little bit expensive. I'll show you folks what harvesters mean. They are actually cheaper than this combine, but they are bigger. But they are older, so yeah, should work fine though. This is new and small. I need older, big. All the big, something like that. Place the header of the trailer. No, don't, don't you fall off. That's it. Good. Each the tipper up to the combine. And let's take a look at the shop. I'm just gonna shut down the combine first. Noisy bastard. So, back here. This is the harvest that we have. That we're getting when we start up the map. You know, it's a stock for the map. This is a grain tank capacity of 8,500 liters. Uh, yeah. And the header for it is 7.2 meters. It's a stock combine. It comes with the game, you know. And it's not that big. So. I saw today some new mods and that is this pack this uh, from here and up so a lot of, lot of different heads for this combine and all of them is larger than the head that we have on our combine plus we have a corn speed corn uh, corn cutter and we have two different cameras you can choose from we are gonna go for this one first of all it's the cheapest one and uh, quite honestly I'm not right now in the mood to pay even more for terror tracks just gonna go with stock wheels header I may just go with a small header for now just no overkill or anything mm. just for the Try to avoid to take a big bank loan, you know. And here's the other tippers. Then I want this one. 750. Yep. So we know what we want. And then it's time to go and. Oh. Press the wrong button. Anyway. Let's go sell this big beast. It's gonna take a little bit, but we have time. We have a lot of time today. I don't know how good those houses looks like, you know, good texture for this on them. 
I wanted to show because I've never tested them before. So this can be pretty interesting. But they should work fine. I have like 2000 downloads so far on World Oster, so can't be that bad. And the guy that made them is banded. And he had made a good couple of few versions of those previously. And they have kind of, you know, the premium thing, the Modo stuff on them. This is the version 4 of the pack. I have not tested the previous packs. This can be my first time testing one of them. It's the bike as well. Yay! We will sometime get over there. Not now. One day. Ooh. Lost two kilometers power up that hill. Three. So a little heavy. Comes the bump. Let's so jump the combine. Oh wow! Oh, it's a big field. <laughs> to be full tire work on that field, eh? Crash right into the fence. <sighs> That's why I like the field that we are using. Because technically, I have how many fields? Oh, a few fields I can choose which one I want to use. I've chosen that field we are using because it is a decent size and there's no fences on it, so I don't have to be that careful with it when I hire the harvester or the combine and other workers. Other tasks, you know. But I daily always try to make sure that they can, uh, oh, so to say, that they have enough turning space before they turn into the bushes or something. But you know, if they supposed to fail, it's not too bad. Now that fail. They seriously have to make sure that they don't miss, or you have to do the field yourself, you know. It's your own choice, but I want to try to avoid, avoid them to crash too heavily. Get them stuck, because they're so stupid, I just stand and drive into the wall. That's something I will which I'm supposed to fix the next farming sim fix those hired workers to be a little bit more smart like for example I can kind of detect that there's a wall there go away, reverse away or stop and reverse or do something not just drive right into it and just stand there try to go forward it's kind of annoying you know there's the pig farm over there we have no pigs yet but we will have some someday just have to get this harvest out of the way that have taken me forever because I have the time to start this recording and have time it just fails but I think we are back Hopefully, 40 kilometers power here. Nice. The shop here can sell some pigs. It's a gate. There is a shop, finally. Just a long bit of the episode. Alright, to the episode before I even have 
done the first task today. That's not too good. And by the way, for you folks that doesn't know, this is the place where stuff get reset to if you reset your vehicles. So let's see so to put everything up on this thing at once. We are gonna sell it. So it will have twenty four thousand on us. It's good. So we want the cheapest carbine of them. Only different is the terror tracks, but we don't need them. We have fifty eight thousand left. We buy the cheapest header. Because you don't need big header. This one is still a little bit bigger than the other one. And then the little head trailer. And you see, we didn't need to take any bank loans. Wow. Okay, I can see the camera is used. That is for sure. It's a used harvester. Doesn't look too too bad. Yeah. Yeah, this would do us fine. Oh holy. It's a noisy one. That's nice. Good old class. Yeah. Needs a little bit more texture inside. Oh well. Whoa. You actually can see that the head is but it's a weight to the front. That's neat. Speakers. Like in what way it feels like it's converted from obviously 2011. A little bit, too much. Because I can remember back in FS11, I played a lot of multiplayer a bit. And I remember my favorite camera at that time was a class. I don't remember the number. It kind of looks like this one here. In the size wise. I was using a big header, of course. Oh. Oh. Birch tree. I remember. That was my favorite camera. Up to the class next to 770 Terra Track camera. You know that we have the game now as well. This one kind of feels like the old one that I used, you know, from the texture and everything. But it's kind of a giant texture, feels like. Uh, so I, so now it works, I'm fine. Oh, really? Uh, uh, nice. I think the lace is up. <laughs> nice, the header is selected. Oh, well. Goes faster than the other harvester. That's nice. Some improvements. I was driving a little harvester. I get back faster. Oh. And I'm really, really happy about this is clippable bushes and not solid fences. Holy! It's been a pain in the rear end to get this combine down here. So wide and big. We need the gears. Oh, yes, indeed we have. 
is good. It's another plus. Oh, it is doing my speed up there. Hey, yeah. Oh, wow. Will be indicators on it, so people know. No. Don't drive in and coming out of road. Well, oh, 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 crash down, sir. This episode so far has been just be driving a cab mine from the shop, from the farm to the shop, and from the shop to the farm. Uh, interesting, right? Yeah, I know. It can be boring. But if I'm supposed to do these videos, I kind of have to show you folks what I'm doing. No point. So, you guys can just sit back and relax and watch me drive. Good old camp I will, of course, later on get the 7, <coughs> 770 air track and some of the case campbines on the titanium add on later on. Because I've been some seriously campbines to have these fields. I think this one will do a great job for now. Okay. We'll make this turn. To feel that one bit. Yeah. Let's see that. Cutter size is not a big difference. But <laughs> nice. It still sits up blinking. Sweet. Let's pick up the header. Switch okay. switch the house to working mode, see how that works. I cannot see any clipping. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if an old texture version of I don't mean it old, I mean like all the farming sim textures. Cut off a whole bit harvester, so it's a 600 and a 700. Those are the complete new spots. New series. The beads, you know, are cheaper, but still, 
Let's go job. Show you folks in the meantime. Hello, camera is working. Let me show you folks how I'm doing the dumping of the grain since this map doesn't give us any silos at all. You actually have to use alternative tipping, and it is a new version of the map out. I don't know if this version is still out there though. This is the second version I think that I'm using. It's a, even a newer one out now. I saw that. But I'm not gonna upgrade because then I have to lose all my progress. Not gonna happen. So we're just gonna be playing along with this one. That heap, as you folks can see, I kind of have to stop putting something in there because I'm afraid that the whole heap gonna start spawning outside. Oh, stuff gonna spawn outside of the building, and I'm not gonna look good. So that's why I, I don't fill this thing more than. Uh, 34,000 liters because I didn't take it, take that starter thing in the middle like I can try to do here. So I can put some more in there. So, yeah, that's how I'm gonna be doing this. Um, now, before we add the episode, this stuff will be a long episode. For ever to render and upload anyway, doing it for you folks is fun as well, so yeah. How is turning? I think, yeah, it's going yes, it is. Um, you're gonna go on the wrong side, it's not good. Oh, please don't fill up. Oh, the beak is all gone. Sweet. It does take the beak is all gone. It reach 80%. That's good. I like that. I like that a lot actually because you don't know, fill the full the camera this time. But I have a strong feeling that that guy. It's not gonna make it all the way to the end. I turn around. Oh no, I won't. Am I? Why do you hate me? <laughs> uh, I wanted to test something. Oh, oh wow. It's a big heap on the top of this cab line. Dumps. Dumps really nice. That dumpy there is taken from the 770. I used to say texture. You can see. But before we end the episode, I want to take a last test. With you guys are watching. That a problem that I have seen on carbides before. Though so far I haven't seen any major problems since this harvester. Lack of texture, that's all, really, I have to say so far. The wheels of the harvester looks really nice. 
so it's nice wheels other textures need to be upgraded got that I have to say so let's do the last test when he turns around the last test is that the harvester is not having problems when his hard worker drives it to pipe out because some carbine mods have that problem. I have noticed. You know, when you're going on the side of the harvester when the hard worker's driving it, it kind of takes the pipe in. All the time. Just goes out. Oh, have to be. Nope. That problem is not in the case of this carbine. My bad. It's my driving skills right now. Nope, this camera is working absolutely nice. Uh, I can't see any major problems with the harvester. So it's good. I uh, can't see any bugs. Where I see it, everything looks right, so it looks like the guy, the bandit, did a good job on that. New better textures, more harvest texture, textures, would make the carbine even better. But hey, if you don't have any, it's fine. That's completely fine with me. So we're gonna put the link down below to the cab by the link down below for the map and more the other mod that I have here is on this trailer It's on Alpha Stash UK, it's by you decide or you DC enemy. Try to put a link down below to the tipper as well. And yeah. Next episode, I'm just going to do the harvest finished. Next episode, we'll sell our wheat and do hopefully start doing some bailing. So, yeah, and you guys have to have a nice day. Well, I'll continue doing my farming on the Let's Play. So, Yep. I'll say goodbye for this time. See you in the next episode. Bye.